You've now come a long way learning about stones and are ready for this last lesson about these wonders of nature. Stone settings are important for three main things. Keeping gems safely in place, protecting them from damage, and adding a beautiful design feature. In this lesson, you'll learn about some of the most popular stone settings in contemporary jewelry. As a designer, once you get these basics down, you'll have the power to personalize and adapt any of these techniques, making your own special creations with settings that reflect your style and mission. We'll start with a very popular prong setting. This is also known as claw setting and allows a maximum amount of light to pass through the stone, showing a maximum of its brilliance. Letting light pass through to the gem is key when setting clear stones. This setting is especially popular for solitaire engagement rings. It often has three to six small metal claws or prongs that are bent over the girdle of the stone to hold it in place. The prongs are attached to the base of the setting. Many prong settings have something called a basket which can have various shapes depending on the stone's shape and size. Here is a typical basket shape with four prongs and one belt-like ring around the stone in the center and one at the bottom. Prongs made in platinum are very strong and used to make especially secure settings. Prongs can be shaped into many styles but are mostly rounded to avoid getting hooked into clothes or other objects causing damage. Betzel setting. The Betzel setting is the most antique of the stone settings and is still very popular today. A Betzel is metal that's wrapped around a gem to hold it in place, like a frame, offering a very secure grip and protection. Betzel settings can also be partial, where only sections of the gem is held by the metal frame. Channel setting Channel setting is a technique where gems are set side by side, held between two parallel metal walls. It gives the impression that the stones are floating and offers a large amount of light because there is no extra metal between the gems. The channel setting is great for protecting the gems, since only the top parts of the stones are exposed. Bar setting In this setting, thin metal bars are placed between the gems, visible from the top of the jewel, while the stone cells have a metal protection under the girdle, not visible from the top. Pavé setting This is a really popular technique where many small stones are placed one next to the other, held together by tiny prongs, creating a precious carpet of gems. It can also be just a single line of stones. A pavé made with very small stones is also called a micro-pavé. A pavé is usually made with faceted stones. Tension setting. This is a pure, modern-looking type of setting, where gems are held with metal pressure. In this setting, the girdle of the stone is fixed inside small grooves in the metal, keeping it in place with tension. Hard metal and stones, like platinum and precious gems, are perfect for this. Invisible setting This truly is an invisible setting technique where the stones are held together with metal rails attached to small grooves in the gem's pavilions. It's perfect for square, rectangular, and trapezoid cuts, where the gems are touching and doesn't need to show the metal underneath. Cluster setting. A cluster setting is either when several small stones are mounted together around a larger sized central stone, or when stones, often with different dimensions or cuts, are set in organic or irregular cluster-style formations. Flush setting 
Flush setting is also called burnish or gypsy setting. In this technique, the gem is flush with the surface, with a burnished or rubbed edge around it. Star setting The star setting is when gems are set in star-shaped grooves in the metal, with a hole in the center, and held by tiny metal beads that have been pushed over the stones to keep them in place. Who can set stones for me? If you'd like to produce your own collection or your first pieces, there are many companies who specialize in making jewelry for others. At the jewelry and gem fairs, you'll be able to see and meet with vendors from different parts of the world and establish the right contacts and collaborations for you. Congratulations! You've now completed the entire chapter about stones and are ready to choose the perfect gems, cuts and settings for your designs. You can also download the handbook about the settings you just saw to use as a reference anytime you need to.